Welcome everyone once again to CVTV right here on ChannelVisionMag.com. And today we actually have a representative from Cambium Networks. We have the Senior Director of Product Line Management. We have Bruce Collins joining us today. How you doing, Bruce? Very good. Thanks, Brady. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, Cambium is a leading provider of wireless fabric and infrastructure for business and residential broadband and Wi-Fi. And uh, there's so much to the company. I'm excited for you guys to learn a little bit more. Uh, Bruce, to start out, for those who aren't familiar, maybe talk a little bit about the company. Sure. So uh, Cambium Networks, uh, we're a publicly traded company that we offer wireless solutions to enterprise customers, service providers, uh, government entities all over the world. Uh, we've deployed uh, 12 million radios to different customers and all different kinds of applications. And we like to think of it as a wireless fabric where we're not dedicated or specifically focused on one particular frequency or form factor, but we really cover all different pieces of spectrum uh, and also uh, enterprise Wi-Fi and switching. So really we're looking at how do we solve wireless connectivity challenges with, uh, with whatever's the right tool uh, or combination of spectrum and, and, and technology. Very cool. So I'd like to talk specifically about 60 gigahertz applications. Uh, what are some of the typical ones that are being deployed in the enterprises today? Yeah, so 60 gigahertz is, uh, is a technology we're very excited about. We have some very new uh, capabilities that we've brought to market in the last year to 18 months. And the number of applications just continues to grow. Uh, we see customers using this technology to deliver gigabit per second speed and multiple gigabits per second uh, wherever they want to provide that connectivity. So it can be things like video surveillance. It can be backhaul to Wi-Fi access points. Uh, building to building connectivity. So if you have a private campus and you're trying to connect multiple buildings together, uh, anywhere that you want to put lots of capacity, multiple gigabits per second, where you either can't reach with fiber or it would be less expensive to reach with fiber, or you want to provide a backup to fiber, uh, those are great applications uh, that we see. And we even see some applications on some indoor uh, warehousing uh, type applications where you have large open spaces uh, that you want to provide connectivity. Uh, so there's, there's many different uh, approaches to, uh, to how these are used. Uh, that's interesting. Now, from the channel partner perspective, uh, how can they recognize uh, when a 60 gigahertz wireless solution uh, maybe could help their customers? Yeah, we, we work closely with literally thousands of channel partners around the world and system integrators, and, and uh, they're always looking for ways to extend their toolbox and provide different ways of connecting. So if you have a customer that's asking you about how do I connect uh, lots of capacity to an area that I can't reach today, either because it's going to be very expensive to trench that fiber, um, or it's an area that uh, is maybe I haven't been able to get a, a lease line connection or a fiber connection from the telephone company. Uh, how can I offer that as a private ser service or a private network as an alternative? So that could be, uh, like I mentioned before, a private enterprise that they just want to add. So maybe they have some spots on their on their campus that they can't reach today. Uh, maybe it's a uh, a residential housing development uh, or apartment complex, and they want to provide Wi-Fi out by the tennis courts, or they want to provide it out by the pool. Um, this is a great way to extend that offering out into those areas. Uh, we talk to customers that are doing uh, RV parks, campgrounds. Uh, that's becoming a, a hotspot for how do you really deliver more capacity uh, for those types of customers. So, so really, the, the the when you're looking for opportunities or how we can solve this, think in terms of. Uh, a customer that's asking for more connectivity, uh, they want more capacity, and they want to uh, do it much more quickly and at a lower cost than fiber. Now, that's interesting. And, and I keep hearing so much about this technology. Uh, what in particular, Bruce, is, uh, is new about it that's making it so popular uh, for these types of applications? Right. So this space has really uh, had a big shift in technology in the last year. We use a, a technology called 802.11ay. Uh, so it is, it, for those of you that are familiar with uh, sort of the Wi-Fi 802.11 standards, this is sort of an evolution to 802.11ay, but it's in the 60 gigahertz spectrum. So this spectrum is uh, uh, gives you lots of capacity. Uh, you do have to keep in mind that it's line of sight, and we're typically talking about uh, maybe a kilometer, a kilometer, a kilometer and a half, or 1.5 kilometers uh, for range. 
But uh, what has really advanced in the last generation of this technology is that we can do everything from point to point connections, we can do point to multi point connections. And what's really exciting is we can now do these distributed networking connections where you distribute the network over the area pr to provide lots of capacity and lots of resiliency. So we see customers that can start with just I just want to connect point A to point B, I want to connect this building to a remote building. But maybe later on, I want to expand that to all of the light poles in the parking lot because I want to provide video surveillance or Wi Fi. Um, this technology allows you to scale and do all the different topologies, point to point, point to multi point, um, and all done in a very um, modern approach that gives you very low latency, high reliability, and security. Okay. And as we move forward into throughout the rest of the year and even beyond, where do you see this technology evolving? Yeah, so this is a fast moving area and, and we have tens of thousands of these radios deployed just in the first year and th literally hundreds, if not thousands of different channel partners that have deployed uh, these products for different applications. Uh, but the roadmap is uh, very uh, active and we're seeing uh, uh, whether it's new devices coming on the market, we'll have some new devices that you can add on later this year that will kind of fill in a nice spectrum or curve of uh, price performance. Uh, we have some capabilities Abilities that are going to come out of this 802.11ay and Teragraph approach, which will give us uh, what we call channel bonding. And that's going to give you the ability to do more than five gigabits per second of capacity in an unlicensed radio. So no need to go license the channel, no need to contact the FCC, just put the radio up five gigabits per second um, out to a kilometer or so. And that's just a game changer as far as how much capacity I can put. So when we talk about fiber-like speeds, we're truly talking about five gigabits per second. Uh, and you can put that wherever you want, not just where the fiber runs. When you talk about it being a game changer, that really kind of puts it in perspective. Definitely a uh, very quick evolving kind of technology set there, Bruce. Uh, if people want more information on Cambium or some of the, guys, some of the things that you guys are doing, uh, where can they go online? Yeah, so I'd encourage you to reach out to our website, of course, cambiumnetworks.com. Uh, if you are a prospective channel partner, you can certainly come to channel.cambiumnetworks.com and, and find out more about the different channel programs that we offer for those uh, that are interested in that area. And then if you'd like, there's also a community.cambiumnetworks.com where you can interact with uh, other peers of yours that have deployed the network. You can interact with product managers and engineering team like, like myself and, and learn more about the product. So uh, we really like to engage very closely with the uh, channel partners and customers as they uh, take advantage of all the, all the latest uh, products that we bring to market. Well, it sounds like a lot of great stuff going on there at KMBM Networks. Uh, Bruce, thank you so much for the time today. You bet. Thanks a lot, Brady. And uh, while you guys are online checking out KMBM and everything that it has to offer, don't forget to also visit channelvisionmag.com where you can check out all the great CVTVs and podcasts and webinars and all this great content that's available right there on demand on the website. With Channel Vision Magazine and on behalf of KMBM Networks, this has been CVTV. Everybody take care.